just a little bit different today. Um, I uh, usually do quite a bit of scripting and, and notes and, and thoughts before I do my videos. This one's going to be a little bit more impromptu. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I won't even end up posting it if it uh, becomes a total mess. Uh, but I just wanted to uh, tell you about something important that happened today or probably yesterday depending on when I end up posting this video um, but I want to start by talking about YouTube so I am a YouTuber um, and I guess that's a thing now that if you make stuff on YouTube you are a YouTuber and there's a whole community of people dedicated and passionate about creating content for YouTube and you know that's fantastic we have all this amazing content available to us on YouTube. There's a lot of filler, there's a lot of crap too, but it's an amazing resource. Um, I use it all the time. Um, and I want to tell you about why I am on YouTube. I absolutely love uh, creating the content that I do. It's a chance for me to just like express my opinion, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm uh, self-centered enough to think that my opinion matters, <laughs> but uh, it's something I really enjoy doing. I like sharing my work, I like uh, sharing the, the um, occasional tutorial that I do, and I hope it's something of benefit. I mean, I've, I've been working as an artist now for, I think, uh, 13 years now professionally, and I've made a lot of mistakes, and I just hope that some of the things I've learned through all those mistakes uh, can be helpful to you, especially when it comes to kind of just figuring out all of the, the psychological and, and kind of philosophical problems of making art, which for me, that was a, a big barrier, was just kind of the figuring out my direction and, and what I wanted to do. Which brings me to the, the point uh, I want to make today. Um, I love making content for YouTube. I've spent countless hours creating uh, this stuff for you guys, um, but that amount of time dwarfs in comparison to the time that I have spent on um, my the core work that I do, on my passion, and that is uh, making comics and telling stories. Particularly, it's been working on uh, The Green Monk, which has been a project of mine now that is, has spanned over a decade, which is crazy for me to think, because, I mean, I think Ozu... Uh, made Akira over the course of, of a decade, and it's like 600-something odd pages, and I have not done that much. Um, and granted, I've been working full-time at making art for other stuff during most of that time. But, um, you know, just as a little bit of background, excuse me, uh, about a decade ago I was doing therapy, um, and I uh, was talking with my therapist just about all these different art projects that I was working on had like a couple film scripts I was working on that I couldn't finish. I had like animated projects I, I was working on. I like kind of wanted to be able to work at Pixar, but I wanted to make my own movies and I wanted to have the little comic project I was working on. And, you know, there I'm sure there's lots of other contexts that led up to this, but he finally just asked me the question like, well, which one of these projects do you care about the most? Uh, and I stopped to think about it and I said, well, it's this project called Green Monk. Um, and it was just this little comic project I was going to do this little story about a monk having a clash with a giant. Um, but something about the character and the story really resonated. I think in some ways uh, it was a character that was meant to be kind of an expression of, of the parts of myself that I'm most proud of. Um, so I dedicated myself to finishing this little comic project. It was a 136 page uh, mini comic. Um, and that was the first Green Monk mini-comic. And since then, I've slowly been working on doing a follow-up to that. I've had lots of false starts. I have a whole 120-page comic that I've laid out, and I did uh, ink work on the first 10 pages of that I decided to, to scrap because it wasn't the right story to tell. 
Um, I had some good feedback from friends that looked at that at that story and finally realized that I need to I need to tell the origin story of this character. So um, I finally sat down and uh, and laid out that story. And the thing is, it's a story that I knew from the beginning, from the first time that I I, I told the first Green Monk story. I knew what the origin story was going to be, at least the most important beats. There's a lot of details that I had to work out. Um, but that is the Green Monk story that I have now been working on, I think, for the past uh, five, maybe six years. I just had in Facebook the other day, one of these little things popped up that said, like, hey, here's a reminder about something that happened to you five years ago. And it was a picture of me working on uh, one of the first pages um, in this, this new Green Monk storyline. So that's what I've been working on for the past several years. And um, I just finished it. So if you go check right now at thegreenmonk.com, you can read the whole story. It's a 122 page story. Um, and I couldn't be uh, more proud of how it turned out. I'm super happy with it. I, I wish it didn't quite take quite so long <laughs> to get done. Um, but I think from what I've learned from this project, the next the next thing, whatever it is, will be faster. So this is why I'm on YouTube. I share all this stuff with you, you know, to, to, to share my knowledge and stuff like that, but mostly because I want you guys to know about my work. At some point, I want you guys to check out the work that I'm doing as a comic artist, and hopefully... Hopefully, if, it's, if the work I do is worthwhile, it will make the things that I share with you more meaningful. It'll give me a little bit more authority. Um, so I want to ask you guys to check that out. Ch go to thegreenmonk.com and read the story. I'm not asking for you to buy anything. My whole call to action is I just want you to see my work. This is the thing that I have um, put my heart and soul into. Um, I've caused myself burnout and depression at trying to do this. And have a job and and raise a family um, and so I want to share it with you um, so check it out thegreenmonk.com I hope you like it and stay tuned for more cool YouTube stuff all right guys subscribe like this video and we'll talk to you next time mm -hmm.